Hey guys, Jonathan here for the Blue Wizard Project, just coming at you with the next part of my playthrough of The Secret Among the Island. So, I actually ended up recording a little bit longer than this, but if any of you watched the last video, uh, you might have noticed that I was kind of flagging there towards the end. I was running out of energy, I was getting tired. <clears throat> and I actually recorded about 15, 20 minutes more of dialogue, but it's too tired. Too high tech. Yeah. Give me a good old-fashioned disembodied head any day. So, uh, if you missed it um, in the last few videos, like I said, I've already beaten the game at this point, and I'm just voice doing a voiceover of them because the um, this game is a little bit slow-paced otherwise, and it was a little bit hard to edit the video, having to be like, oh, here's me just randomly clicking on items and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I apologize about the last video. It was just really really tired by the end of it started telling stories that I never got to finish uh, I don't remember what they were exactly so uh, I guess those will always remain a mystery and um, <clears throat> I started getting so tired when it gets to this next part here that you guys will see in a little bit when I go inside the monkey idol that uh, I'm pretty sure I fell asleep in the middle of the record so excuse me I kind of got my second wind on this one. And uh, we'll see using this key here to open up the... Uh, how does it get the wax on it? That's what I don't get. They would have to put wax in it. It almost reminds me of that, like, um... What is that? Your double dare. Where they, like, the nose that you had to, like, pick to get the flag out of it. Maybe they use the same guy to do that. So this part, I cut out um, a decent amount of time where I'm just kind of wandering around in this cave, and uh, you can't I really go anywhere yet. There would be mushrooms. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, there was more of that, like me fading out and uh, me wandering around there, but you can't really wander around in there. You need to get the head that these guys were talking about that like gives them directions. Take that. I want them to eat those grago mints, so dude. Much. Eat those grago mints. So this part, I'm just kind of like we guessing what that. items to give them. And this is another so part much. where the writing was pretty clever, and I just kind of look we over it. So that. if you remember, I found those three so books, much. and one of them, the description ah, of it said something about like how to get ahead in something or other. High tech. Yeah. Give That's me a what good they want. Disembodied head any day. Yeah, so I try the first book. This one doesn't do anything. Couldn't take that. Again, You've just clicking through so stuff, much. trying. And then this one, if you read it, well, it says like how to get ahead this. at something. It looks or other. like instructions remember. on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? This head looks gross. We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you! How Just convenient to have an anti ghost you to necklace. LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. Can do. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. So now I have to go back through those caves, so I'll spare you guys that and edit it out there. And uh, I have to use the head here to try to find my way through the caves to get back to the pirate ship. Uh, or get to the pirate ship, I should say. Put on that... Uh, um, uh, necklace makes me invisible to ghosts and get the key and the uh, a key and the supplies sorry a key to get supplies that I need to um, make the anti-ghost uh, drink I think it wants me to go or to the right. um, potion or whatever 
So this part, <clears throat> I don't know that I would have been able to uh, guess my way through it like I did the forest. But uh, it was a little bit annoying. Sorry, I keep coughing here, guys. Um, it was a little bit annoying because it's not really clear which direction you're supposed to go. Like, left and right is fine, but sometimes um, you needed to go left or right in the background, and instead of looking back first, it would just look left and right. So this part takes a little bit of finagling and a little bit of, like, walking around. Again, I kind of wish that I had switched to the classic view just to see what this place looked like in the original one. Um, but I didn't think of it till after the recording was done, so sadly, I will never know. Unless I ever play this game again in the future. Yeah, so you can see this part's kind of slow paced, but still not bad. So at this point in the game, uh, there's probably about two more videos worth of stuff left after this video ends. I can say that because I can see the timeline right now. Um, but I did have to cut out a decent amount of stuff. If you know where everything is in this game, I'm imagining you can just blaze through it except for, um, uh, the part with the insults. Uh, I feel like that part you would... Uh, it, it's all you have to go in and find every single insult before you can move on. Um, you can't just go straight to fight the swordmaster and um, guess what the answers are to them, which is a shame because I feel like if you're trying to like, I, I don't think that people speed run uh, point and click adventure games, but if you were trying to, that would be something that would definitely be a hindrance because as far as I know, it's random. So here's a part where it's like, I can't really tell, is it wanting me to go forward and left, or back and left? Because when I walk over here, it was like looking the other way. Oh, this part was super annoying. So basically, I need to go to the left, or to the, sorry, to the right. I'm on the left there. And I told you guys in some of the other videos in this game, if my cursor goes a little bit too far to the right, uh, because I'm playing on a dual monitor setup, uh, it will switch from the monitor, I believe the image is near for you guys, so the monitor directly in front of me, which is what I'm playing on, to the side monitor, which is what makes it do that clicking noise and having the black on the screen. And, like, it didn't take very long, as you can see, but it felt, again, because I was so tired and so out of it by the time I got to this part, so I was like, come on, just let me click it, come on! It was so close to the edge of the screen that it wouldn't let me. Very annoying. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this part's kind of cool. You can see here, I'm like highlighting this. Uh, I believe that's supposed to be Manny Calavera, I think his name is, from uh, Grim Fandango. It looks like him. But who knows? Save in here. And uh, yeah, at this point I've got 69%. I don't know how they really calculate how much of that percentage is, because I feel like sometimes... I do a ton of stuff and it's like 9% and then other times I do like a very little small amount of stuff and it feels like it's like 20-25% in that little bit. See that dance dude? <laughs> uh, I like that I just wander and like, hey what's up guys? You wouldn't have a route I could borrow. I've come to interrogate the prisoners. Excuse me, is this the Lido Excuse deck? Excuse me, but uh, is this the Lido deck? Yikes! I like how none of them attacked me. They're just like, what are you doing here, man? Hiding in plain sight is what I'm doing. Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? Hello, Head. May I please, May have, I that please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Why can't I? Oh, come on, please. Maybe I'll just take it. Fine, I don't know. Really oh, come on, there. please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Why can't I have it? 
I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. I mean, you're already dead. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty, pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please with sugar on top? Oh, all right, you big baby. You can Thanks, have buddy. it. Hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? His smile is oddly unsettling. His face looks kind of fat in that picture. He looks this like feels Fat weird. Schmidt from uh, uh, New Girl. <laughs> back. <clears throat> Womp. Invisible! Alright, let's check out this ship now. What a drunken slot. Creep. Bam, 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 bam. That is one thing that's super awesome about this game is just the music. It's so it good. Looks sound asleep. Uh, the game itself is pretty good. Um, I feel like I'm not gonna like it as most as much as most because I never played the original back in the day, and so that nostalgia is not really there. But it gave me a few chuckles along the way. But the music is just top tier in this game. Whoever did it, like, did a really good job. I find myself like I don't see anything special about it. humming and whistling the the tune quite a bit. I, don't see anything I apologize about it. if I've said that in other videos. I've gone I had to go back and re-edit the audio and commentaries on these. It's locked. So many times I forget what it's I actually Lucky said and what was deleted. There. So, oh wells. I don't see anything special about it. Like I said, this one was, uh, it's also hard to know what, I, uh, was in the video, what it's made it into the chain, video, because... roped, glued, and welded together. That seems excessive. No seems staples excessive. to be removed. Uh, it's hard to tell what actually made it in the videos. Gross, um, I, I forget what I cut. Gross, look at the meat. It's weird that you can see, you'd think you would they still be like able to chickens. see, like, the poo sitting in his guts. The pig's bones look kind of like a dinosaur. So this part is going to be another one of me like trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing, where I'm supposed to be going, how to get that box open, and uh, I can't really figure it out. That doesn't seem to work. I thought, oh, maybe I could put gunpowder on it and then ignite it, and it might blow it up. Even though it's a ghost box, which doesn't make like I get the ghost pigs and the ghost chickens, but I because I they could just be dead. Like that chicken doesn't even have a head on it. But uh, don't get the ghost box. Ooh, that's refreshing. It brings up the question: Do boxes in the Monkey Island universe have souls? If so, is there like a like pantheon of box gods? That people worshipped in hopes that when their box soul departed them, I say people, I, I mean box people, about it. that their box souls would well, join their box forefathers in the inside. promised land with their box gods. Who knows? These are the real questions the Blue Wizard Project asks. What do you think about box souls? Let us know in the comments below. He looks sound asleep. I know I gotta get that, uh bottle from this guy and uh, at first I wasn't really sure what to do I can't move it I figured I could just snatch it from him if I put the right combination in but not gonna happen going to the other room again 
believe this is when I notice it. When I notice. I don't see anything special when about When I notice. Well, except that big glowing voodoo anti root inside. Why wouldn't LeChuck just throw it in the lava that was leading up to this place? Then no one could get it. What a dum dum. It's called How to Get a Leg Up in Treasure Hunting. I can't get inside it. Yep, just try it. It's nailed, everything. chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. Makes sense. I can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. That doesn't seem to work. I can't remember if this is when I find it. Nope, guess not. Like I said, I spent a decent amount of time on this boat. Maybe this is when I go to the truck's cabins. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, what a cute little ghost dog. I want a ghost dog. Or a real dog. Here's the truck just chillaxing. Looks like Monkey Island. It does. It does. I don't see anything special about it. Not a single thing. Fear for thy life, ye who enters. I like that he uh, talks so piratey. Who dares to enter the cabin of the ghost pirate Nechuk? Strange places, strange noises. Hmm. I feel like. Uh, but Chuck is real lucky that he is a ghost because I could have just come up behind him and been like, Don't take it Ooh, personal, kid. <laughs> and that was for you. And, and uh, stab him in the back, otherwise. You'd better fear. Alright, so we can see here, I'm going to uh, time lapse ahead, trying out some of the items, looking through my, my inventory, and. Uh, figured out using the magnet from the compass to get that key all right guys i'm gonna cut this one here there should be like i said one or two more videos and then we'll get back to it all right so we'll see you next time we'll see what happens with that key and the rest of this pirate ship Peace.